Oh, I'm Phantom Freddy. So you're afraid. I'm not <laughs> afraid of anything. And what do you want? Maybe a, a little bit of revenge on Golden Freddy. <laughs> Ah! Those blasted idiots! Why can't I find that stupid bear? I've searched high, I've searched low, I've searched in other dimensions, but why can't I find that stupid bear? All I wanted to do was protect him, and yet he runs and he runs. Doesn't he understand? I'm just trying to protect him. I will rip this world in two to find him. And when I do, you'll be locked away, so he can never escape. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Shadow Freddy, you don't need to do that. <laughs> who are you? You shouldn't be able to come here. I created this dark realm myself. Hmm. You think you're the only one who can travel through the darkness? <laughs> How naive are you? What are you? Oh, I'm Phantom Freddy. It's so nice to meet you, finally. Your aura, it reminds me of Golden Freddy, but yet not as powerful. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> that you can sense power like that. I don't mean to brag, but my power is great. Though, not as great as Golden ones. I still cannot deal with him. Hmm. So you're trying to deal with Golden Freddy. Now are you? <laughs> I don't wish to destroy him. I just wish to be strong enough to resist him. So that he can never do anything to me. Interesting. So you're... Afraid of what? the bear, aren't you? <laughs> I'm not afraid of anything! Hmm. Sounds like you're afraid to me, Shadow Freddy. But maybe that's just me. <laughs> What do you want? Well, I want what's best for you, of course. I mean, we are here in your little shadow dimension or whatever that you've created. <laughs> well, I didn't actually create it. I found this little pocket space in the darkness. Though I thought it was hidden enough that I would not be disturbed. Well, here I am. So it must not be as hidden as you thought. <laughs> and what do you want? Like I told you, I want what's best for you. And, you know, maybe a, a little bit of revenge on Golden Freddy. What? Revenge? What would you want revenge against the Golden Bear? Well, you see, <laughs> you said you could sense my power. Similar to Golden Freddy, but not as powerful, which honestly is quite insulting, if you ask me. I could be as powerful as Golden Freddy. And how would you do that? Well, I can do anything, including giving you the upper hand on Golden Freddy, which is exactly what you're looking for, isn't it? That, and finding my other half. He escaped like an idiot. All I'm trying to do is protect him. And yet, he runs and runs. Doesn't he know that this world is dangerous? That it wishes to destroy him? I was created out of necessity. He doesn't understand that. There was something I sensed about you. And that's it. You're only half a man. And yet you're wishing to power the levels of Golden Freddy. <laughs> Stupid. Buddy, I could destroy you with a snap of my finger. So you better choose your next words carefully. You can't do anything of the sort. Real. But if you listen to me, maybe there's a way that you could become just as powerful, if not more, than Golden Freddy. Oh my I'm God. listening. Hmm. I can give you anything that you want. <laughs> All you have to let me do is a spell. Oh, like I'd be an idiot to let you do a spell on me. <laughs> For all I know, it can be a destruction spell. And you could just wipe me from existence, clearing out any type of adversaries. 
But here you were a second ago, saying you could destroy me in the snap of your fingers. You know that's not true. You can feel the power level that I hold, and it's much greater than yours. What I feel is an echo. You may have had power once. I can feel it. Echoes of what you once had. Maybe at one point you had power that could have rivaled the golden ones. But right now, it's just a trickle. A small remnant. And that remnant isn't anywhere near me. Hmm. Are you willing to test that theory? Maybe I am. Maybe I just need to blow off some steam. Maybe. Well, here I am. Feel free. Do your worst. No. Actually, I can feel it. Because of the emptiness in you, if I were to cast a spell on you, you would absorb it. And that's what you wanted. Now why would I do such a thing? Especially when I'm sitting here now, telling you I can cast a spell on you. Which is exactly what you want. You'd be smart to listen to me. Truly. Hmm. The spell to make me more powerful. What is it? Well, that's for me to know. Not you. <laughs> like I said, I'm a lot more powerful than you think I am. All you have to let me do is cast it. Hmm. Not now. Hmm. When? I have some business to attend to first. And if I were to power up as you say, I would be on the gold one's radar. He might actually stop what he's doing and come deal with me as a bigger threat. <laughs> and I don't think neither one of us wants him showing up here now, do we? No. Perhaps not. But it is funny to watch you squirm. So afraid of him. <laughs> you do need the help. You need the power that I offer. Maybe I can help you become whole again. I need him. Fine. How about this? Not here. In a few days, meet me at this location. I'm sending it to you in your head. Do you see it? I do. Meet me there in three days. I'll see you there. Alright. I'll see you then, Shadow Freddy. <laughs> What a creep. Really couldn't get a vibe off him. Whatever. If this works, if I can be whole and gain unlimited power, then this world, this world will bend its knees to me and it will finally be a safe place for what I want.